with severe weather hurricanes, tropical cyclones kind of thing. It's everything. It really is. Hey, this is Doug with Mathnasium of Tallahassee and another edition of our Number Sense video series. We're joined today by meteorologist Nancy Dignan. Weather is something that impacts all of us. And of course, here in Tallahassee, we've had hurricanes the last three hurricane seasons. Earlier this year in 2018, we had a snow day. And of course, every day, it's just a matter of what should we wear when we get up and head outside. All of those forecasts, whether it's for severe weather or your daily forecast, are all put together and influenced by math. And Nancy shares the impact that math has not only on meteorology, but science as a whole. And she also shares some advice for those students who are interested in pursuing the sciences and how to best tackle their math studies. Meteorology is nothing more than the application of math. That's what it is. You take all of the, the math, the calculus, the differential equations that you've learned, and you apply it. And that's really what you're doing. It could be as basic as the latitude and longitude coordinates, which are numbers. Um, it could be a little more sophisticated, robust, as in the computer models that have the dynamics at all these different heights in the atmosphere. It's the crux of everything in meteorology for us, and it's so important that you understand it. It can't just be looking at it and trying to figure it out. You have to really comprehend the whole concept. If you're interested in science, take all of the math that you can as early as you can. It's intimidating. It's not the easiest thing in the world to study, but as long as you have that passion and that's your drive, follow it. Just keep going for it. There's nothing that should stop anybody in this day and age. I think it's really important that in the classroom or wherever you can get that information, you seek out that information because you've got to learn the skills. You can't just kind of go into it on your own and think that all of a sudden it's going to come to you. Most of the time, all you need is a little bit of a push um, and maybe a little bit more time in some of the more difficult classes, but don't give up on it.